All right, David Harry here. And in this video, I shall be further exploring the use of line level mode with the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Now, just quickly, you can also do this exact same thing with the Hero 7 Black, 6 Black, and 5 Black as well. Only if, obviously, you have a microphone interface, which in that particular instance would be the original GoPro Pro 3.5 millimeter mic adapter. Now, the difference with the A's is that you've got two options. The first option would be to use the media mod or the second option would be to use the same pro 3.5 millimeter mic adapter that you could use with the 7 6 and 5. so what i'm going to do here is also use this external microphone preamplifier that i'd used in another video which is the small saramonic one but the difference with this particular video i'm going to be using it with lavalier microphones outdoors now the way that i use it with lavalier microphones is to also use the Rode VXLR Plus and the reason why I have to use that is because the Saramonic will send out 48 volts worth of phantom power and I need to drop that down to 5 volts which is what the VXLR Plus does in order to use it with the lavaliers. Now there's three lavaliers that I'm going to be trying here. Now the first one is one here that I build myself so this is just a self build that I do. The second one I'll be trying is the Rode Lavalier Go, which is this one. And then the third one, which is like the cheap option, as it were, or the cheapest option, is this, which is the JK Mic JK044. Now, what I would normally do is use my new rig system here, which comprises of the Ulanzi G85 and all that stuff. And then on the side here, what I've done is kind of bolted on my modified Saramonic. Now, if we look at it from behind here, there we can see all the stuff on the Saramonic, you know, the gain control, the power controls and all that stuff. And also for this particular test, obviously I've got to drop the power, like I said before, I've got to drop that power to five volts, not 48, in which case I'm using the Rode VXLR Plus there. Now, the other thing with this video, in order to make this something a little bit easier for other people to replicate, because I appreciate most people are not going to have an adapted system like I've got here, what I've actually done is to use the GoPro Hero 8 Black in the media mod. And the reason for this is just because it's something that anybody else could easily do without any kind of modified stuff like I've got on that other rig. Now, the way I've gone about doing that is to use an unmodified Saramonic. So this is what the Saramonic looks like unmodified and what normally happens with the Saramonic is on the end here which is the microphone output which you plug into your media mod that is TRRS wired so what I do is just get one of these little simple TRRS to TRS adapters and then I just pop it on the end there that then gives me TRS out of the Saramonic and then I just pop that into the back of the media mod so there's my preamplifier going into the media mod and it's all TRS wired. And then for the sake of the lavaliers, I then just get the Rode VXLR Plus. And then I just pop that onto the preamplifier and then pop the mics into there. So like I say, this is the exact setup that I've used for this particular video. And only because it's something that anyone can do very easily and not necessarily use one of them kind of botched systems like I use. Anyways, I'll crack into the test now and then I'll come back and do a little bit more talking afterwards. All right, so to the first lavalier and test on here and it's one of my self builds. There we go. Now, as we can see, it's actually raining. It's quite breezy. It's a very miserable day. But, you know, I've got to come out and test these things regardless of, you know, the weather and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's an audio test, so hopefully the picture shouldn't really be interfering with stuff here. Because, like I said, the picture may not be the best in the world. It may, it may not be the best weather and stuff. Um, but it is an audio test nonetheless. Okay, so like I say, these are just going to be like shortish takes just for us to get a taste of stuff here. So right now, what we're being listening to is my resummed version. So what I'm going to do is right now, what we are hearing here is the level exactly as it's gone in. So what I'm going to do now is go back up to the resummed level. So here we go back to the resum level. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of silence. So what I'll do, I'll start off at the sum level and then I'll drop the silence to the original level. So 
So for the second lavalier then, and this is the road lavalier go, just there. And obviously the weather still hasn't gotten any better since I've swapped over microphones. So we're just gonna have to put up with this terrible weather. Anyway, yeah, so the lav go, I think it's a great mic. I think it sounds good on the outside like this, but my preferred position for this microphone is concealed under a t-shirt. Cause what happens there is when I kind of like, you know, tape it to me chest and stuff, I think it gets the benefit of like, you know, being attached to your solar plexus and stuff. And like it picks up like you know all those resonating frequencies around your chest area and i think this mic in particular is really good at that because it kind of like becomes very rich and stuff anyways what i'll do i'll drop down to the original level because right now we've been listening to my resum level so right now what we are hearing is the original level exactly as it's gone in so what i'll do i'll go right back up now to the re-leveled or resummed version so right now we are up to the resummed version okay so i'm just going to finish this take with a bit of silence again the start will be the resummed version then it will drop down to the original version And so to the third and final lavalier of this test before I get off back indoors and get into somewhere where it's a bit warmer and it's not raining. Anyway, so what this is, is the JK mic JK044. There we go. Now this particular microphone was donated to me by my YouTube bezzy, Mr. Ian Craig. Now there'll be a link to Ian's channel here and one in the descriptions as well. And what it is recently, Ian's been doing some really cool stuff with like Rode and Deity mics and some of the cameras and that. So get off to his channel and check out that stuff if you're into all this kind of microphone and camera thing. Anyway, so what we've been hearing right now is this particular microphone resummed up in post as I normally do it. Now what I'm going to do is right now we are hearing the level exactly as it was recorded so i'll go back up to the resummed level so i'm right back at the resummed level now just to finish this take off before i shoot off indoors and do a little summary and whatnot i'm just going to do a bit of silence once again it will be resummed to start off with and then it will drop down to the original level All right, so three examples of three different lavaliers running in line level mode with the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Now I'm gonna explain again just why you might wanna do this, but before I get into it, don't forget, you can do all this with a Hero 7, 6, or 5 by using a preamplifier and something to drop the power down. Now obviously in this instance, I've used the Saramonic Smart Rig. Now I will have links to everything that I've used in the video and possibly some of the suggestions. Now the Saramonic Smart Rig that I'll link to is probably gonna be the Mark II, not the Mark I, but the Mark II is just at least as good as this. It's got a couple of different options on it, I think. Um, I think it's got a quarter inch input as well and stuff like that. But for the purposes of doing what I've just done, the Mark II will do all that. So there's a Mark II that you can get of this, and then you use the VXLR Plus to drop the power down. And also as well, you use a very simple TRRS to TRS adapter on the end of the cable there. In fact, I'm not entirely sure there are certain other variations of the smart rigs which you've got to switch on them to switch between TRS and TRRS. So you may well actually be able to get hold of a Saramonic smart rig or one of the variations which actually already does TRS. But regardless if it hasn't, one of those little simple TRRS to TRS adapters and then the power gets converted down with the VXLR Plus. And like I said before, I used the media mod setup for this particular demonstration. And the only reason for that is, is because a lot of people may not wanna use that setup that's the only reason why I use the media mod. If you have this type of setup with the original 3.5 millimeter mic adapter with the Hero 8 Black, it's gonna be the exact same setup. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just kind of like go over why you might wanna do this. The simple reason is it's going to give you the best possible quality. 
Now, I know there's going to be some people out there might be sitting there thinking, but hold on a minute, you're adding this and you're adding that and all the rest of it. Well, yeah, you'd be right. But unfortunately, if you want the best possible quality, you're just not getting it by going straight in and using the mic modes on any of the GoPros. I'll also do a video soon as well explaining what the mic modes are on the GoPro and where you may or may not want to use them. But like I say, you do have to go to those extra lengths if you want to get the utmost quality out of your system. And to be honest, you know, if you've got a system like that and then you just, just kind of like bolt something on the end like that and put a little adapter on it, yeah, it looks a little bit bigger and stuff and it's not quite as portable. But in the instances where you would want to be doing that, you definitely would be wanting the best possible quality and that is the only way to do it. I'm going to say that's the only way to do it. I don't mean that particular preamplifier, but using a preamplifier or any way of getting your GoPro's signal loud enough or getting the signal going into the GoPro loud enough to drive the line level input. And don't forget as well, that could also be a mixing console as well. You could use some form of a mixing console to put the signal in. Doesn't matter as long as it's amplified enough to go in at line level mode. So the main reason for line level mode is because in that mode, the GoPro doesn't add all of the crazy dynamics that it does in the mic modes. Because when you're in mic modes, whether that's standard or boosted or powered standard or powered plus or whatever the mic modes are that you choose, at some point, that mic mode will, without a shadow of a doubt, start using AGC and limiting. So depending upon how sensitive the microphones are that you plug in, you will definitely be subjecting them to a lot of like dynamics processing and quite possibly dynamics processing that you don't want. Now that dynamics processing will kind of like, you know, alter the signal in ways which are not gonna benefit you in post-production. So as you could hear before, I do that thing where I drop down to the original level and then go to my resummed level. Well, the reason why I do that is because I now can do it properly in line level mode because I get a very clean signal going in, which isn't like, you know, hitting zero or anything. It's just a nice healthy level. And then when I'm in post-production, I choose how much limiting I want to use in post-production to kind of just take some of the peaks out and then resum the level right up. And as you could hear in those examples, it wasn't like it was being crushed or over-processed or anything. I was just making it a bit more healthier by, by maybe around 5 dB or so to get the output a bit louder for YouTube. But going in in line level mode and it not being subjected to AGC and all that stuff allows me to do that myself in post. So I make the decision as to how much dynamics processing I want on those microphone recordings. So basically that's the bottom line as to why you would want to use line level mode. And don't forget as well, as cumbersome as what you may think that setup is, if you're doing stuff indoors, it won't matter because the GoPro is probably gonna be on a little tripod and you won't mind having bits and pieces kind of like plugged into it and also if you're serious doing stuff outdoors specifically for dialogue there's a good chance you're probably going to have the gopro locked off on a tripod or something because you're using it because it's like a, an ultra portable way of recording really good stuff so in that instance again having the extra bits on it probably aren't going to be a you know a massive deal now don't get me wrong you're not getting on a skateboard or jumping out of an airplane or going into like the ocean with that setup it's definitely not going to be good for that but hopefully what I'm proving with some of these videos is that you can actually get an amazing dialogue sound out of your GoPro and that doesn't even have to be dialogue it could be any recordings that you want to record and also don't forget the GoPro can record stereo. It has two unique channels as well. So those two discrete channels can either be used as individual channel, individual channels for one mic and another mic, or as a stereo channel setup as well. Okay, so yeah, I think that's probably gonna be enough here because I'm not entirely sure, again, how much technical stuff people want to know with these things. 
But if anyone's got anything specific about what I'm doing here, please kind of like leave some comments and what have you. Now, I may not be able to address that stuff immediately within the comments, but what I'll do, I'll try and kind of, you know, address that stuff in future videos and try and answer some of those questions in other videos and what have you. And also don't forget, you can watch all of my GoPro stuff and get a really good idea of what's going on, especially me Hero 8 stuff, where I've done a ton of stuff with different mics, different setups and all that kind of thing. And this month I will have even more stuff coming up as well there's going to be even more kind of like deep diving into some other stuff to do with the hero 8 and that and also if you're interested in watching those hero 8 videos if you go to www.gopro9.com that will take you direct to that playlist with all that stuff in i think i've got nearly 40 videos now all just to do with the hero 8 which you can get to at that url eventually that url will also then point to a website with all of my gopro videos that i've ever done on all right so i think i'm going to wind it up here because i'll just carry on talking and talking but i think people are going to start getting the gist here of what it is that i'm trying to put across with some of these videos about the utmost best quality to get out of your gopro as far as like your audio and your dialogue is concerned at some point i'm going to start getting into picture stuff with the gopro but I've just got totally bogged down with audio stuff for now, so we need to exercise me demons with it. Anyways, yeah, I'm actually getting on that point as well. Thorin, if you watch this video, you asked me that question, when am I going to go back and do some stuff with the Osmo Pocket? Because in your opinion, it's a better picture than all the other stuff. Well, I absolutely totally agree with you. The Osmo Pocket wipes the floor with all the action cameras as far as its picture quality is concerned, and it is my favourite of all the small cameras for pure picture. And the only reason why I've not gone back to it recently Torrent is just simply because I've been getting like waylaid and bogged down with all this Hero 8 stuff so as soon as I get this stuff out the way there's a few more interesting things coming up to do with the pocket a wide angle adapter and especially like a workflow that I'm trying to work out to use it properly for vlogging so there you go Torrent there's the answer to that thing that you've asked me in the comments that I never answered in the comments alright anyway so I'm David Hardy and if you've liked the video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel all that boring nonsense that you get asked to do at the end of YouTube videos. Anyway, so the last thing that remains for me to say right now is thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.